Good evening. Hello, Mr. Eric. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. Now you didn't watch horror movies before the class. No, I was I I was watching a soccer match. Okay, so you were not watching a scary things today, right? So they they are not going to knock on the window. No, no, no. <laughs> you see the conscious, the conscious. Okay. I was scared yesterday. <laughs> I know. It's because imagine there. I think our worst enemy is our brain. Because if we see something that it's scary, then we imagine that that is going to happen to us. And that or it's- or, or you uh -huh. can dream. Yes, or you can dream about it. And that's really horrible. So you have to be very careful with the things that you watch before entering you, into the class. <laughs> and you don't, you don't run in your dream. <laughs> it's horrible. That, that it's a very horrible thing. Or mostly when you are dreaming that uh, you cannot move. Again? When you dream about, uh, I mean, when you don't, when you cannot move, when you wake ah, up, yeah. when you wake up and you cannot move and you are like, ah, and you want to talk and you are like dreaming, it's very horrible. Help, help, help. Yeah. Yes, that's very horrible. Yeah, but you don't say that. You don't, say, you cannot say anything. You say in your imagination. Or when you are running in your dream and you fall down and you jump. <clears throat> In my case, I, I didn't, I didn't run. <laughs> I, I run, 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 and, and you I didn't move. Run. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's really or, horrible. Oh, I run slow, really, really <laughs> slow. That has happened to me as well. Or I don't know if this has happened to you before, but you dream that you are angry with someone, and then you wake up angry ah uh, yeah yeah <laughs> one day i i dreamt that i was very angry with my husband but very angry and when i woke up i was very angry and he told me what's going on with you and i said i'm angry with you i don't know <laughs> why but i'm angry <laughs> and i was angry for the whole day <laughs> i didn't forget that yes and, and i don't know why but it happens right dreams are very curious Right, dreams are very curious. And the dreams are very weird. Yes, and I, it, it is fun when you are dreaming about something and then you stop and then you wake up and then you fall asleep again and you continue dreaming. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, this is like yeah. in chapters. It's you, impossible. You dream in <laughs> chapters, like La Rosa de Guadalupe. <laughs> You have the little chapters. Mr. Elmer, Rosita, welcome to the class. We were discussing about dreams. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi. everyone. Hello, hello. We were discussing about how crazy dreams are. And sometimes I dream, uh, I when I watch uh, a person. When I see a I, person? I see a person, I didn't. I didn't see uh, his head. What a crazy thing. So you only see the body of the person. See only the body, but I don't know, it's, it's really weird. Oh my God. And sometimes I, and sometimes I dream that I going to uh, marry. <laughs> is, is that a dream? Are you sure? <laughs> yes it's, it's yeah a ring. I, I don't have ring you don't have a ring it's yeah finger. i remember when 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 i was just about to get married i used to dream that i was on the entrance of the church and then i used to get my dress and escape <laughs> and i dreamt and i dreamt the same thing like 10 times and my husband told me La pata te voy a amarrar. <laughs> you know, because I always had the same dream, the same dream, running away. Exactly on the on the door of the church. But I didn't I had, the, I had this dream uh, two twice. Oh my, two times. <gasps> two Jesus. times in this week. 
my God, you are about to get married. No. <laughs> no, they are <laughs> escaping. Hello, Crisia. Welcome to the class. Well, my dear students, yesterday we were talking about what? Good evening, teacher. Thank you. What were we talking about yesterday? Family members. Family, family members. members, right? We were talking about family members. And you were describing your small families, right? You were yeah. describing your families. Today, what we are going to do in the class is to describe your little family tree, right? You are going to uh, talk a little bit about your grandparents, your parents, your mother, your father, your brothers, sisters, and you. Okay, so what you are going to do right now to start the class, we are going to create something like this in your notebook for sure. So you are going to create here, for example, a, you are going to go with your grandparent, right? Your grandparents and then you add the name. Here you are going to have, for example, in my case, I will say uh, Paz and and the mundo and here i can have evelia evelia and i have the other one evelia and salvador they are my grandparents right they are my grandparents and then i will go with my parents i will go with carmen and ernesto and then I'm going to go with my siblings, right? My siblings. Uh, I will have here Henry and Suley. And then I can have my husband because I have a husband now. My husband and my children. But I only have one, right? So this is a kind of the division that you are going to make about your family. And what you are going to do after this, you are going to say, for example, in my case, I can say, for example, Evelia and Salvador are Nati's grandparents, right? And this is the sentence that you are going to create, okay? Primero, organicen quienes eran los miembros de su familia, quienes son los miembros de su familia, y después vamos a hablar acerca de las relaciones con nosotros, right? Evelyn Salvador are Nati's grandparents. Here, I can say, for example, Carmen and Ernesto are Nati's parents. Henry and Suley are Nati's siblings, right? And you are going to give me the sentences, okay? I need you to create your idea of your little family members on your notebook. I am going to give you around three or four minutes for you to create your sentences. And then each of you is going to read, okay? Primero las creen, le voy a dar alrededor de dos, tres minutos para que las creen, y después las van a leer para toda la clase, okay? Let's work. Teacher, but yes. I don't have, I don't have grandparents. Yeah. And, and where did your mother come from? Uh, for me, they are not my grandparents. No, but they exist. Oh, you can Bradford. just invent no. one name. You can say Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to add the real names, invent, right? Tom Cruise and okay. Tom Hayek. <laughs> and then you invent a couple of I'm going parents. to, I'm going to write um, my only grandfather. Okay, so you can add that example, right? And you can say, for example, what is the name? Uh, Gilberto. Gilberto is Eric's grandfather. And then you have one example. Go okay. Ahead. Create your sentences. Please create, everybody's going to create their sentences. Hello, Mr. René, welcome, Sarai, welcome. Hello. We are creating relationships, right? Using possessive forms. And on this one, I need you to choose different names of members of your family and you are going to represent the relationships in possessive sentences, okay? Exactly like the example that I have here. And I, can, I am going to write another one. Carmen is not this mother. And here we have another example, right? And I can have here, 
Ernesto is not this father, right? And I have three sentences already. I need you to create around three or four sentences, or if you want to create all your family members, that will be perfect, okay? So let's create that on your notebook because later you need to read your sentences, okay? Go ahead. Necesito que las leamos, así no vamos a inventar las oraciones en el momento. So I am sure that you use all the different eh, parts of the sentences. Okay, let's see. Okay, so whoever has them, let me know and we can go and participate in that order. Teacher, ¿qué significa yep. Natis? <laughs> it's my name. <laughs> It's my name, Natis. In this case, if you say Carmen is Natis mother, it's like uh, Carmen is la mamá de Nati, el papá de Nati. Uh, so it's the, uh, the, the relationship. So if I say, for example, uh, whose uh, father is Ernesto? It's Natis, you say. Okay, Nati is my name for sure. Thank you. Okay, good. Es el papá de right la, la, la palabra siguiente que está después del posesivo es el que representa ese posesivo por ejemplo si decimos Evelyn en Salvador are Nati's grandparents son los grandparents de quién de Nati ok good do you have your examples Finish. yes Crisia give me your examples mm -hmm. Uh, grandparents Elena and Jose Velar. Mm -hmm. Parents Olga and Patrick. Sibling Daniel and Ernesto. Children Adriano and Kelly. Good. Uh, Elena and Jose Velar are Chris's grandparents. Very good. Uh, Olga and Olga and Parrish are Chris's parents. Mm -hmm. Daniel and Ernesto are Chris's brothers. Good. Adriano and Kelly are Chris's children. Very good. Children. Okay, they are Chris's children. Very children. good job. Excellent. Very nice. Who's next? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Mr. René. Okay, Olga and Serena are René's parents. Uh, I am Rebecca's daddy. Mm -hmm. And Lulu is René's sister. Very good. Lulu is René's sister. Very good. Short and to the point. Who's next? Me. Go ahead. Uh, grandfather is Gilberto. Parents, parents are Evelyn and Roberto. Siblings are Javier, Jimmy, and Jenny. Uh, nephews, nephew is Roberto. Okay. Gilberto is Eric's grandpa. Mm -hmm. Evelyn is Eric's mother. Good. Roberto is Eric's father. Jamie, Jimmy, and Javier are Eric's siblings. Good. And Roberto is Eric's nephew. Very good job. Excellent. Nephew. Nephew. Excellent. Nephew. Yeah. Good. Who's next? Me. Go ahead. Um, grandparents, Sabino and Juana. Uh -huh. Sabino and Juana are Elmer's grandparents. Grandparents, for, good. For, for my father. Good. And for my mother, grandparents, Miguel and Luisa. Miguel and Luisa are Elmer's grandparents. Um, and then parents, Hugo and Sara. Okay. Hugo and Sara are Elmer's parents. 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 Uh -huh. Wife, Arely. Arely is Elmer's wife. Very good. 
Excellent. Siblings, uh -huh. siblings Rodrigo and Valentina. Rodrigo and Valentina are Elmer's siblings. Okay. So in this case, when you say uh, the lado de mi papá, you say on my father's side, on my mother's side, right? And so that's okay. that's the way you use it. Excellent. Thank you very much, Thank Mr. You. Elmer. Who's next? Go ahead. Mm, Antonio and Natalia are Gustavo's grandparents. Mm -hmm. Julia is Gustavo's mother. Daniel is Gustavo's father. Good. Giovanni and Jamilet are Gustavo's siblings. Good. Steven and Rodrigo are Gustavo's nephew. Are Gustavo's nephews. Good. Gustavo's Very nephew. good job. Very good job. Excellent. Who's next? Who's next? We have uh, Rosa and Sarai. Uh, my grandparents. Uh -huh. My grandparents is Carmen and Felix. Uh -huh. Parents, parents, Jose and Concepcion. Siblings, Reina and Mirna. Husband. I don't know, have a, a husband. I don't have, I don't have. I don't have a husband. Children, Rosa Maria. Very good. So you say Rosa Maria is Rosa's daughter. Right, for you to make the relationship on the other side. That's very good. Thank you, Rosa, for sharing. And Sarai, go ahead. Um, my grandparents, Emilio and Teresa, uh -huh. um, and sisters, uh, Anna, Elisa, Berta, and Edith. Uh -huh. um, quiero ver, yo, uh, quiero ver. Let my, me see, let me see, you say. Uh -huh. uh, Como tendría que decir por, lo, por el tema de los sobrinos. My niece, my nephew. My nephew, ajá, uh -huh, my uh -huh. nephew por, eh, quiero ver, Rodrigo, Jamilet, Alejandro, en, en Camila. Ok. Eh, quiero ver. No, después serían los como los hijos eh, de bueno esos son como los sobrinos después uh -huh. de eso tendría que desglosar ya mi, mi digamos mi árbol de parte de mi familia yeah but in this case you can choose the your closest members right because if we start talking about the complete cousins and all that uh -huh. we're going to <laughs> it, it's a lot of people right it's a lot of people so uh, it is good, right? But I need you to create just like two sentences in the possessive. Okay. In, in, ya de parte mía, in, in my, 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 um, son, verdad? No, hijos. Ma, uh -huh, my, my children. Ajá, uh -huh, my, perdón. My children. My children. Two, uh, two children, and Christopher and Sebastian. Okay, good. My God, you have a very big family, Sarai. Okay. <laughs> Your family is very, very, very big. Si hablamos de familia grande, Sarai nos va ganando ahorita. Excellent, my dear students. And who am I missing? No one? Ya nadie se me queda. So, uh, in this case, as you can see here, as I am sharing today, today we're going to talk a little bit about the family relationships. And here, what we have presented is like a little family tree, right? How you divide them. And on this example that I have here, I have Andy and Marta. What is the relationship of the two of them? They are grandfather and? Grand grandmother. Grandfather and grandmother. What about Chris and Sara? They are father and mother. Yeah. They are father and mother. Sam is the son 
of Chris and Sarah. Sam, right? But he is married with? Yumiko. Yumiko. With Yumiko. So Yumiko is Sam's? Wife. Wife. Good. Wife. So in this case, Sam has a brother. What is the name of the brother? Jim. 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 So Jim is the brother and Lisa is? Wife. Sister. Is wife. Okay. Uh -huh. Lisa is? Ah, the... yeah. Sister-in-law. Exactly, the sister-in-law. Sister -in and in this case, we say brother and sister-in-law. And here we have Donna and Manuel. Donna and Manuel are aunt and? Uncle. 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 And what is the result of an aunt and an uncle? It's a? Cousin. Cousin, good. And what about Kelly and Jimmy? They are? Children. Uh, children. Uh -huh, they are no, the children. In... Oh, yeah. Yes, they are the children of Jim and Lisa. But what is the relationship with Sam? Nephew and niece. Nephew and niece. Good, very good. So in this case, we have like the little family trees. This is just an example here on the book. Imagine if we create one from our family in El Salvador. My God, we will I need- I finish today. We will need like seven cartulinas, right? for you to create your complete family tree. In the previous class, I had a student who has 11 brothers and sisters. Whoa. Imagine. And he, well, said, I... he said that four of them died. So they were 15. So, so imagine, wow. the, imagine the family tree. <laughs> in, my, in my case, I have uh, 14 or 15 uh, uncle. Oh my goodness. Yeah, in, in the side of my father, I have 10. 10. And I, ho and I have a lot of cousin. And you don't can't imagine. And you can't. Don't can't is not possible. I can't. Yeah. You, you can't don't. imagine. You can't imagine. Yeah. I think here in El Salvador, everybody is cousin of someone else. Al final, si terminamos, yeah. si terminamos haciendo. Esta, esta relación es de familia, quizás todos somos primos. <laughs> yeah, so Salvadorian families are, are very special, right? We have this very special thing that we are relatives with everybody. Good. So here we have a, this little relationship. What about this ones? What relationship do you think these people have, the people on the pictures? Uh-huh. Maybe some of them are new for you. Michael Douglas is a Catherine Sitayon husband. Exactly. Michael Douglas is Catherine Sitayon's husband. Mm. Enrique Iglesias. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. No, no, it's Michael brother. Douglas and Catherine Sitayon. Not what? Married, yeah. Sorry, Rene. Michael Douglas and Catherine Sitayon, not married yet anymore. <laughs> I think they are not married anymore, but they no. were husband and wife. Yes. Yes, they were husband and wife. What about Julio Iglesias and Enrique Iglesias? Enrique Iglesias is Julio Iglesias brother. Son. 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 I, yeah, son. Yeah, I, I forgot that. <laughs> brother. Sorry, sorry. Maybe they brother. are brothers, right? What about Francis Ford Coppola and Nicolas Cage? I don't know. Francis for <laughs> Copa is Nicolas Reyes. I don't know. Is this guy no? He's the bad. No, he is. Bien. Nicolas Cage <laughs> is his nephew. Oh. Yes, hey, that's yes, funny. that's new for me too. <laughs> and Annette Benning and Shirley MacLaine, they are sisters in law. Sister in law. Oh. They are sisters in law. It's very crazy, it's right? I, I didn't I didn't know that Nicolas Cage was Francis Ford Coppola's nephew. I learned it here preparing your class. <laughs> that was that was very good. Thank you. Do you know any other relationship of famous people? Um
Uh-huh. About famous, right? Uh-huh, famous people. Famous people that you consider, uh, well, people that you consider famous and that they are related. Uh-huh. Don't tell me cocolito en la tenches, okay? <laughs> I think they are cousins. Se me pasó por la mente. Um, Tommy, huh? Tommy, Tommy Motola and Talia. Uh -huh. And Talia. They are, and they are married. married. They are husband and? And wife. And wife. And wow. they are together because of the love. Uh, Angelica Maria and Angelica Vale. Ajá. Uh -huh. Is, is um, mother. Okay, they are uh, mother and daughter, right? They are mother and daughter. What about uh, Jennifer Lopez and what is the name of his of her husband? Ben Affleck. Actually. <laughs> Nowadays? <laughs> Actually is Batman. 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 <laughs> she's the only lady, she's the only lady who has dated Batman. She's very lucky. <laughs> Good, very good. Because because the Jennifer Lopez case are many married. Yes, she was married with Mark Anthony, with this other dancer, now with Ben Affleck. Now my, she, she has a whole All the variety. Famous, right? Yes, she has a variety there for her to choose. Okay, so here, here we go with uh, the relationships. How do you create sentences to explain relationships or how to say a sentence? in a different way. In this case, for example, you have Joseph is Maria's uncle. Maria is Joseph's niece, right? And in this one you say, Liz is married to Peter, husband. How can you create this sentence using the word husband? Peter is? Peter is Liz's Liz husband. Very good. Peter is Liz's husband, right? Liz's husband and Liz is a proper name. So it has to be with capital. But this one, I am single. How do you say this using the word I am not? Sorry, married. I gave you the answer. <laughs> I am single. I'm not married. I am not married, right? I am not married. Stay like that, please. The next one. We have two children. Son and daughter. How can you transform this sentence using son and daughter? And daughter. Uh-huh. We have one son and one daughter. We have one son and one daughter. Or we can say we have a son and a, a, a daughter. And a daughter. Very good. The next one. How do you transform this one? My wife's father is a painter. Father in law. Ah, uh, suegro. Uh huh. So, how do you transform this my sentence? Father, my father in law uh -huh. is uh -huh. a painter. Very good. My father in law is a painter. Very good. And the last one, look for Michael doesn't have a job right now. Uh-huh. Michael mm -hmm. look for uh Joe right now. Michael is looking. He's looking for a job right, right now. Okay. So in this case Michael is looking for a job right now. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? What is an activity that you are doing in this moment of your life? I'm, I'm class. I am studying class. English. I am taking a class, right? Very good. What are your family members doing right now? Think about three of your family members and what are they doing right now? I can give you one example. My mother is watching TV. My father, maybe he's checking Facebook. And my husband is taking care of my kid. So I have three uh, people in my family and three activities that they are doing. 
What are the my family father, members doing? My, my, my father son. and my mother stay in, in the living room. Okay, my father and my mother are in the living room. Good. Uh, my nephew is playing soccer. Okay, my nephew is playing soccer. Someone else? Ah, sorry. My mother and... watching. Uh, your mother That's is? Okay. Cell phone. <laughs> ah, okay, good. My mother is watching her cell phone. That's a very common thing now. Okay, le llamo usted no contesta. But all the time with the phone there on the hand. What are the other members doing? Mr. René, what are your family members doing right now? I don't know. Maybe my parents are eating right now. They are eating right now. And what do you think your daughter is doing? My daughter. My uh -huh. daughter maybe is playing right now and can I sleep. I don't know. Maybe. She's uh, okay. She's playing. Rosita, <laughs> what are your parents doing right now? Or what are your family members doing right now? Rosita, hello. Hemos perdido a Rosita. Okay, we are going to continue here with Crisia. Hey, Mr. Noel, it's good to see you. Hello, I am desde, here. Desde aquella vela no lo habíamos visto. Ah, sí. <laughs> <laughs> Estuvieron buenas las tamales. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Mr. Elmer, what are your family members doing right now? Um, my daughter is reading a book. Okay. My son is a play a video game. Playing video games. Uh -huh. And my wife is um, watch TV. Watching TV. Watching TV. Watch, is watching TV. Very good. Let me see, Mr. Gustavo, what are your family members doing right now? My sister is watching TV right now. Uh -huh. My brother is cooking her dinner. His dinner? His dinner, sorry. Uh -huh. And my dog is quiet in front of me. Okay, he's there in front of you. Mr. Noel, what are your family members doing right now? Uh, I live with my mom. She uh -huh. is sleeping. She is sleeping. She is sleeping, sorry. She is sleeping. How nice, right? We are going to go to sleep like in 20 minutes. So right now <laughs> yeah. we're going to we're going to finish studying. Good. In this case, I have a little conversation here. And we are going to go and practice the conversation in couples. So please, my dear students. Check on the conversation if you have questions about pronunciation. Check on the conversation to see if you have questions about pronunciation before you go to the rooms. New words, new vocabulary. Government. Government, gobierno. Here with life, wildlife, vida salvaje, uh -huh. vida oh. salvaje. Okay, uh -huh. there are a lot of ambulances outside my house. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh -huh. For the rest, no new words or new vocabulary. If we don't away, have away, uh -huh. away, away, lejos. Thank you. Away, she's away. Very good. Okay, so we are going to go to the rooms right now, and I need you to practice the conversation. Did you get the conversation already? Ya se robaron la conversación. Yes. Yep. If not, a screenshot. No borra el pizarrón. Ah, uh, cómo? <laughs> Ahorita borra la pizarra. Let's go to the rooms and practice the conversation right now. Go ahead. Let's go. I need you to practice the conversation in couples. Action. 
accept my invitation to go to the rooms. Miss Sarai, accept my invitation. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Elmer is waiting for you. Very. There. So my students have some minutes to practice the conversation in the mini rooms. And when they come back, they're going to present here. Let's give them some minutes to practice. Yeah, wait. She's I, uh, she's not working in the Jewish state this moment. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Hey, next. Uh, teacher, una pregunta. Tell me. Uh, eh, se me olvida como es wild, wildlife, como? Wildlife photographer. Wildlife photographer. Wildlife. Wild, wild, wild life, 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 okay. wild life, wild life, photographer. <laughs> photographer. You have to articulate it. If not, you are not going to get it. You say wild life, wild life, photographer. Como topando la lengua en la wild uh -huh. life on the uh -huh. on the top of your of your mouth. Say wild uh -huh. life, photographer. <laughs> Life. It's kind of tricky. Okay. Good. Continue. Continue. Okay. I'm going to go and Thank check you. the next group. Yes. Thank you. Okay. okay. Tell me. Karen. And your brother? He's traveling in in the Amazon. In the Amazon. Teacher. Yes. How do you pronounce it? Photograph. Okay. You have wildlife photographer. 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 Yes. Wildlife photographer. He's uh, traveling. He's traveling. 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 Yes. Continue practicing. I am going to go to the next room. This <laughs> is works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She works on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? She is a wildlife photographer. He is a wildlife photographer. He is a wildlife wild life photographer. Was no, come on, better. <laughs> wild, wild, life. life. Wildlife photographer. Photographer. Wildlife photographer. Very good. <laughs> Continue. What, what an interesting family. Interesting. interesting. What, an, family. what an interesting family. Continue. Continue. Formal. Pero <laughs> uh -huh. Let me listen to you. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um, you are you are Rita and I'm and I am Sue. Go ahead. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Oh, well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a better separate project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What what an interesting family. Can I meet them? Can I meet them? Mm, oh no, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Good. He, she's working on a very secret, secret project right now. Very and secret project right now. Wildlife photographer. <laughs> wildlife photographer. Wildlife photographer. Wildlife. 
wildlife. wildlife. And the, ne the next one was interesting. What an interesting family. And I think it's just that one. Okay, my dear students, let's go back to the main room. Okay. Let's go back to the room. Yes. El micrófono, teacher. El micrófono, teacher. Esos son los números ganadores de la lotería. Espero los hayan anotado. Ah, vale, <risa> lo que tenía. <risa> los anoté. <risa> Puede yeah. leer los labios. Ese es el secreto de la felicidad. Ese, ese es el secreto de un matrimonio exitoso. Tener mala memoria. Ese es el significado de la vida. <risa> y ese es el significado de la vida. <risa> el secreto de un matrimonio exitoso es <risa> nunca, nunca eh, irse a la cama peleados. Quédense eh, despiertos y sigan peleando. No <risa> yo, escuché, yo escuché el consejo de mi abuelo. Ajá. Hey, esto va para todos. Voy a tomar nota. Cuando te cases, uh -huh. compra una cama pequeña. Ajá. ¿Qué le dije eso? Que cuando estén peleados no van a tener más que reconciliarse. <risa> Because you are very close to each other. <risa> yeah. yo, yo siempre les digo ese, ese secreto. Ese. El secreto... Omitiré comentario por la vida <risa> práctica, algo así. Oh. <risa> It's true. Yeah. Nunca, nunca se vayan a dormir peleados. Quédense despiertos y sigan peleando. No mentira. A la <risa> gran. <risa> No, no, no. A mí, a mí no me falló la memoria, por eso no me funcionó. Ah, ya, yeah, el secreto de un buen matrimonio es tener mala memoria. No, yo creo que el secreto, bueno, I have been married, well, I have been with my husband for 20 years. Yeah, I met him when I was 17. And the secret has been like, I don't like this and let's fix it. And In the beginning, right? Yeah, since the very beginning, like, mira, eso no me gusta. Eso no me gusta y esto y esto tampoco. The same with him, with me, right? Y eso que yo soy un caso, hijos. Aquí me ven toda bella, hermosa, amiga. ¿Cuántos años tengo, Ticha? Nah, no, de las aguas mansas libres, me dio, Ticha. Bueno. Exacto, miran el juzgado cuántos años. Sí, ya, nos conocimos cuando yo tenía 17. Yo tengo 35. Uh -huh. Casi igual. Mi padre lleva 35 años. Imagine. So that's the secret. That's the secret of happiness. Me habría nacido yo. Ay, no, mi niña. Ni yo. Yo llevo 10 años. Ni sabía si me iban a crear. Oh, my God. Ni sabía que iban a ser yo. Oh, my God. Ay, cálmense, abuelita. Ya me sentí como abuelita. No, tiche. Yo llevo 16 años. Imagine. Y eso sí que nos hemos agarrado el chongo a veces. Pero siempre, siempre nos volvemos a peinar, así que no hay problema. Pero es que siempre hay uno en la pareja que tiene que ceder. ¿Quién es el que cede siempre? Tú o él. él? él. <risa> siempre el hombre tiene que ceder. Tiene que haber un, un loco y un centrado. Uh, yeah, definitely. <risa> Uh, we can we can have a we can have a class about this on Fridays. Who are you? El centrado sí, siempre es el oso. Y un desconcido. Yeah. No, I always say, nunca dejen salir a la, a la casa. So families are going to be very happy all the time. So we're talking about families and what do they do? And here we have a conversation. Who can tell me the conversation? Uh -huh. But not reading, not doing anything, just like that. I have here the couples, and let me see. I have Eduardo and Rosa. Who can can you give me the conversation, Mr. Eduardo and Rosita? Um, no sé, no sé si van a compartir la pantalla, teacher. No, just like that. Do you remember the conversation? <laughs> no, no se acuerdan de la conversación. Ya se me olvida. Ay, cómo. <laughs> Por yes. la conversación de ahorita, uh, yeah. And you are younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> Go 
on him. There you have the conversation. Action. Rita o sue. Okay. Rita, usted. Okay. Uh -huh. Tell me. <laughs> tell me about <laughs> your brother and sister, Sue. Sue. Well, Sue. well my sister. Well, my sister worked for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. In in what able in what boot your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What? An interesting family. Can I meet him? Oh no, my sister away. She's not working in the United States in months. This month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Finish. Okay, very good. Uh, in this one, you cannot say what an interesting family. So you say what an interesting family. It's like I mean, you you need to sound like intrigued about what's going on. You say what an interesting family, right? <laughs> <laughs> I I felt like in Zootopia, right? Did you watch the movie? I said, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> what an interesting family. Say, so can I meet them? Can I meet them? And the next one, pronunciation, government. 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 The next government. one, secret. 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 About. Secret. And what about your brother? And what about your brother, right? What about? What about? It's like one word here that you have together. What, what about? about? What about your Amazing. brother? Yes, and he's a wildlife photographer. He's a wildlife wildlife photographer, right? And in this one, what an interesting family, right? What an interesting family. And she's not working in the United States this month, right? He's traveling in the Amazon, good. The second couple that it's going to be chosen, it's going to be Alexander and Eric. Go ahead. Tell me about hey. your brother and sister, Alex. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does he what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on very secret prayer right now. Wow, what about your brother? He's a real life photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Um, no, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Good, very good. And the last one, Mr. Noel and company. Who was your couple, Mr. Noel? Uh, Gustavo, creo que... tell me about your brother and sister, Gustavo. Well, my sister worked for the government. La. Hello. Oh. Perdimos, oh. Noel. Lo siento. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and um, what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What's an interesting family? Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Very good, he's traveling in the Amazon. Excellent. So, sentences that we can find here in the ING form. Sentences that we can find here in the ING form. 
She's working on a very secret project. Right She's now. working on a very secret project. What is the other one? What an interesting family. What an interesting family. In this case, interesting, it's an adjective, right? She's not working in the United She's States. She's not working. And the last one? He's traveling, the He's traveling in the Amazon. He's traveling in the Amazon, right? Previously in the class, I asked you about what your family members were doing, right? You said like, oh yeah, my mother is watching TV, my father is doing that, my brother is doing that. So I was asking you about how to use the present continuous in sentences. And I did this question to you. What do your family members do? What, uh, what were they doing in that moment when I asked you, right? So, and you told me, right? My mother is doing this, my, my father is doing that. What are the professions of your family members? Can you give me some of the professions of your family members? I can say that, for example, my, um, my mother is a nurse and my father is an agronomist, right? Those are the professions of my family members. What are the professions? Uh -huh. uh, salesperson son quienes? Las, los vendedores. Ah, okay. Es como comerciante en nuestro país. Exactly no. like that. Yes. Uh, or when you, you say, I am a businessman or a businesswoman, uh, in some cases it can be in a big company or on the street, right? So you say, I'm a businessman. Okay. El que te vende de todo. Right. I'm a businessman. Oh. Because, I mean, you, you make business, right? And you can say he's a very important businessman in a company. That's another level of business. But a salesperson is comerciante, right? Good. Thank you. What are the professions or the occupations of your family members? Teacher, I say supervisor. Supervisor. Okay. Yes. So my father is a supervisor. Your father is a supervisor, good. Uh, my mother is a, a housewife. A housewife, good. What about the rest of you? I listen to a very little dog. Good. Let's the see. dog is security. Yeah, that's a security guard. Rosa Amaya, what are the professions of your family members? Uh. No entiendo la pregunta. Okay, the profession of your family members. What do they do for a living? ¿Cuáles son las profesiones de algunos miembros de tu familia? Mm, engineer, um, teacher, mm -hmm. este, secretary. Okay, engineer, teacher, secretary. Mr. René. Uh, my father is a lawyer and my mother is a, what my mother? She has a owl business. She has, a, she's a business woman, right? She's a business yes. woman. Mr. Eduardo Mercado, professions of your family members? My mother is house, housewife. Housewife. Uh -huh. housewife. Uh, my brother is, como se dice, peluquero. A barber. Barber. Pero de perros. Ah, he's a, well, he's a pet barber. <laughs> or pet he's a, barber. <laughs> or he's a vet. <laughs> oh, he's a vet. Or, or he's just, he's just a barber for animals. He's not a veterinarian. En una veterinaria, sí. No, 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 but his profession. Is he a veterinarian? Ah. El es veterinario? O solo es peluquero. Peluquero. Ah, so he's a pet barber, definitely. That's the word. In my my uh -huh. sister law is. ¿Cómo se dice ayudante? Helper. ¿Cómo? Helper. Helper veterinary. 
so it's she's a, a an assistant in that case is an assistant. assistant she's uh, an assistant okay good she's an assistant, an assistant. An assistant. Yes. very good so here we have the grammar presented can you help me to read the sentences that i have here on the grammar what is the first one that we have here are you leaving at home now are you leaving at home now what is the next one Is your sister? Can you help me to read the sentence? Vamos, vamos, vamos. Logremoslo. Cuatro minutos nos quedan. Los pierdo, los pierdo. Is your sister working for the government? The next one. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Very good. The next one with WH question. Where? Where are you working now? Very good. The next one. What is your brother doing these days? Doing, doing. And the last one. Doing. Who are your parents visiting this week? Who are your parents visiting this week? The answer for the first one. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Right, I am living in an apartment or I am living in a friend's house. Is your sister working for the government? And you have two options. Yes, she is or no, she's not. Are Ed and Jill going to college next year? Yes, they are or no, they aren't. Where are you working now? I am not working, I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He is traveling in the Amazon. And the last one? Who are your parents visiting this week? They are visiting my grandmother. ¿A quién van a ir a visitar? Okay, so that's the form of the sentences. If I say, for example, about you, are you um, receiving the class in your bedroom right now? Yes, I am yes, or I no, am. I am not? Yes, I am. Very good. What about the rest? Sarai, what are you receiving your class? Perdón, teacher. Where are you receiving your class? In the living room, in the bedroom? In the, in the living room. In the living room. Let me see. Uh, Mr. Gustavo, are you living in an apartment right now? No, I'm not, teacher. Let me see. Uh, Mr. René, are you working for the government? Uh, not really. It's a private company. It's a private company, a private, private company. Private company. Very good. Mr. Noel. Hola. Are you are, hola? Hello. Are you leaving? Es que, <laughs> es que pasó algo gracioso. Me pusieron en un grupo de Twitter y me, y me salí de clase y me pasé al otro grupo. Entonces. Ajá. <laughs> okay. What a, what, okay, what a curious thing. Are you paying attention to the class right now? Sí, sé que está preguntando lo que ahorita está en pantalla. Ajá, ajá, I got you, ajá. Huh? Good. So, you have que to siempre me habla cuando estoy descuidado. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ¿cuál es el aprendizaje? No nos descuidemos de lo que estamos haciendo en la clase. Después ahí me dicen, teacher, ¿y cómo hago eso en la plataforma? Y yo se los acabo de explicar en la clase. Lo siento, teacher. Ah, ya, líneas. <laughs> Let's, see. Let's see. Mr. Eric, where are you living right now? I'm living in, with my parents. I am living with my parents, right? Let me see. Mr. Eduardo Mercado, who are you visiting this weekend? Who are you visiting this weekend? Ah, uh, they visiting my sister. I am visiting my sister, right? I am visiting my sister. Mr. Elmer, are you visiting someone this weekend? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, no, I am not. Simple as that. And let's see, Crisia. Hey, where, where did she go? 
Oh, she told me <laughs> she are driving a car. Ah, uh, yes, she was driving. It's true. It's true. When we finished the conversation, she was going down the car. Let me see. Sarai, are you visiting someone this weekend? Um, I'm, I am visiting in my mother. I am visiting my people. mother. Oh, how nice. Enjoy the trip, right? Yeah. So we are going to continue practicing the present continuous forms in the sentences tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, it's one of our last classes for the sessions. On Monday, we are going to review uh, some of the topics and we're going to review all the exercises in the platform to see that everything is done. And on Tuesday, we have our oral presentation. Tomorrow, I am going to give you the details of your presentation. So you should be ready with this for Tuesday, okay? We have a presentation and um, you should be ready for this, okay? Have a beautiful night, my dear students. I am going to see you tomorrow for our last class of the week. And I am going to give you the details of the days to come. Have a beautiful night. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for another class. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.